everyone. Hello. Today I have a different video for you. We're gonna play a game. <laughs> so since we're getting married, you wait, might... wait. We're getting married. Since we're getting married, you might think, oh wow, they must know each other very well. We'll see. Today we're gonna play truth or lies. Each of us is gonna say 10 sentences and the other one needs to guess if it's true or if it's false. Who wants to start? Sonia wants to start. I want to start. First thing you need to guess is... I know her very well. I should get 10 out of 10. In high school, I played volleyball for one year but I hated it. Sonia played every sport for one year and hated all sports. So I'm gonna say that that's truth. No, baby boy. <laughs> Lie! I never played volleyball for never? one year. I was never part of a volleyball team, but I was part of a soccer team and I sucked. I liked it, but I was terrible. For now, we're still 0-0 zero, zero because he didn't guess. Next. I was 15 when I had my first kiss. Were you 15 or 14? I think you were 14. You are incorrect. It's the truth. I was 15. <laughs> okay, so zero is zero. Um, She's terrible. My turn. I used to have a goose when I was a kid and its name was Romeo. That has to be a lie. Who has a goose? It's true. Mm. I had a goose. I had a goose. What do you mean Not you had friendly. a goose? I had a goose as a pet this. for years. You've never told me. I think I told you because that time the dog bit the goose and then we had to go to the vet with the goose. You never told me that. <laughs> okay, still zero zero. Okay, number two. I have a birthmark somewhere on my body. Truth. You are incorrect. I don't have a birthmark. Wow, we really know each other super well. <laughs> I don't know because I thought you know maybe some spots. I don't have a birthmark. I do, I have two. Did you know? Yes. Two? Yes. Where is my second? On your arm. No, it's on my knee. That's what I meant. Terrible! I don't know if I would publish this video at this point. Okay, thanks. My favorite gelato flavor is stracciatella. <laughs> Lie ever. If I had to guess her favorite gelato flavor, pistacchio. Yeah, I think you're right. One, one, zero. My next question. I used to be in a band. I was the drummer, but I also wrote the lyrics to our songs. This is easy. Truth. That's true. That's true. I read some of the lyrics you wrote. Let's say it was more romantic back then. I was. One, one. So, if you're not from Italy, you must know that in Italy we have this huge, scary, big exam at the end of high school. And to pass the exam, you must get between 60 and 100 max. That's the score. So, I got an 89 at my finals in high school. I see what you're trying to do here with this question. She's bragging. That's obviously a lie because I'm pretty sure she got like 98 or something. I got 96. Oh, you remember it. Because she brags all the time. She's like, I was an amazing high school student. So wait, that's two for me and one for you. I've seen all the Harry Potter movies. That's a lie. You haven't. I know you haven't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. I've seen like two of them, maybe the first and the last. Two to two. Yes. My least favorite color is yellow. The premise of having a least favorite color is already strange. And I don't think anyone has a true least favorite color. Kids do. Are you a kid? No. I'm gonna say that's a lie because she wears the color yellow somewhat often. But that's the truth. That's my least favorite color. I don't know why I don't like yellow. I like green, but I don't really like yellow. This game should have been based on true facts, not like subjective emotions. If you know me, you know that my least favorite color is yellow. I'm sure my mom knows. Two to two. Okay. I worked as a waiter for only two weeks. True or false? A waiter. That's a lie. He was never a waiter. That is actually a lie. Three to two? Yes. Um, what was my first job? You worked at a grocery store as the, how do you call it, bag boy? Bagger. The bagger? Slash cashier. <laughs> Were you a cashier? At the end, I got promoted. But I only worked it for like a month uh, and a half. Okay. My dad's middle name is Stefano. Easiest question ever. Obviously lie, because Italians don't have middle names. Some Italians do, I thought it might be tricky. You're right. Easy, 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Thank you for the easy questions. I am 12 minutes younger than my twin brother. 12. It's true. 
that is a lot. The matching number is 11. Oh, come on. Three to three. All my grandparents studied French at school, not English. Honestly, I vaguely remember you telling me about this, so I'm gonna say truth. Yeah, that's true. Four, three. I used to have hair as long as below my ear. That's the longest my hair's ever been. Pulling the hair? Yeah, like stretching it as far as I could. Uh, I think that might be true. Hell no. Pulling it. I've never had hair that long. All right, all right. You know I was a good student, but I was caught cheating on my math test once and I got a bad grade. Terrible Did grade. you cheat on your math test? I'm almost 100% sure yes. Did you get caught? I doubt it because in Italy it's like the good thing to do. So I'm gonna say that that's a lie. Eh? In high school. I wasn't even you got in cheating. Trouble? Me and my best friend, we were checking each other's tests. Which is cheating. That was, I don't know, yeah, maybe it was cheating, but the test was done and it was good. But For all the non Italians, let me explain. It's acceptable to cheat in Italy. Uh, I don't know if it's for everybody, but it wasn't cheating. We were just checking each other's tests and it got caught. So isn't it four or two? Three still. Okay. I have been to Canada. Live. Are you sure? Yes. It's a lie. <gasps> yes. So now we're even. Yeah, 44. Two more each. 44. Okay. okay. I often sing in the shower. Mm, I'm gonna actually say that that's a lie. First of all, you don't really take showers, you take baths. Second of all, I don't usually hear you singing. <laughs> yeah, I don't really sing in the shower. Even when I take a shower, I don't sing. Five, four. Yeah. Number nine. My favorite show growing up was SpongeBob. What's the show? Is SpongeBob a show? Yeah. And growing up, what do you mean? How old? Because I have two shows in mind for you, and it depends on kid. your age. True. Yes. Because I thought about The Office. Oh, but I was pretty much grown up. I mean, I was a high schooler when I was. Yeah, I'm still growing. Last question for me. I was born on the same day as my mom's side grandfather and my dad's side great grandfather. Mauro and Lucio share a birthday with Sonia January 30th. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? You know how I knew that was true? No, how? It would have been way too creative of a question. Blah, blah, blah. Stupid mistake. Stupid mistake. I must get this right. So it all comes down to this question. Will she tie or will I win? I can ski and snowboard. And that, my dear, is a lie. Because you can't snowboard. That's true. <laughs> I win, that's right. I can't snowboard. Don't be so happy because we tied. <laughs> but maybe that's a good thing, you know? Maybe there's no winner or loser because we're a couple. And but I'm very competitive. It's okay because you don't have to be competitive. <laughs> I won. Okay, arm wrestle to decide the winner. Ready? No! I hope you liked it and I'm happy about the result. No winners. We know each other not too Equally well, honestly. Well. Like, I only know 50% of her. Let us know if you like this I'm still shocked video. that you had a pet goose. I'm gonna tell you more about it. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you again and subscribe. She got a lot. Bye. One life.